now we are supposed to solve a problem so consider the problem statement that is given a list of numbers let us say 3 then 5 0 9 2 what you are supposed to do is take this 0th index element that is 3 print 3 as it is then one tab character and corresponding to this number 3 print 3 stars because this number is 3 so 1 2 3 then change the line go to the next line print the next element that is at index 1 so these are index 0 index 1 index 2 3 and here 4 right so now print this 5 and then corresponding to this number that is 5 print 5 stars here 1 2 3 4 5 then print the next element that is 0 in the next line and then tab character and then 0 star so no star then change the line again print the next element that is 9 tab character and then print 9 star 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 stars are printed change the line print the next element that is 2 tab character and then corresponding to this number print 2 stars here right so this is the problem statement now pause the video and try to write the code for this all right so assuming that you have tried enough let us move to the solution part now so if you observe this list of numbers what i can do is let us say the name of this list is lt okay so if you observe here let us say the indices i'll represent them with variable i list of i what i'm supposed to do is if the value of i is 0 when i is 0 list of i is going to be 3 so print that number 3 then give a tab character here like this one tab character after that start a loop right for this list of i start a loop which will start from 1 and go till exactly lt of i so what is lt of i now it is 3 right so it will start the loop j will start from 1 and it will go till the element so just print 3 times star then change the line then the next element is 5 5 tab character print 5 stars 1 2 3 4 5 and in the same in the similar way we can print all the corresponding elements with stars like this right that's a horizontal printing of stars right so it is a it is just like a statistical bar chart or you can say statistical graph type okay so where we are printing the stars horizontally right so let's convert this idea that i discussed here into code now so i'll just go to my editor so first of all i'll take n assignment operator int and let me read the input that is the size of the list or array whatever you want to say now in this it is better that i put a message here for the user that is enter n right now what i can do is let me take the list so initially empty list and now i need to read the values one by one so for i in range i in range that is 0 to n which represents n number of elements total so here i'm going to write lt dot append list dot append that means at the end of the list just keep on adding the values int here int and then input function so before this loop starts let me generate a message that is print enter the elements one by one so i can write here enter the elements one by one okay so this loop will help me to read the value of this list right okay now i can just come out now what i should be doing is let me define a function right so let me name the function as pr and pr so it stands for print rows print rows for each element each element in the list right so define keyword def and the name of the fu uh, function that is pr and here the parameter let's say t here okay this t will receive the list actually the reference of the list anyways now i can write here n that is the length so i can just find the length of this t so len of t so this len function that is the built-in function len will give me the length of the list okay so once this is done now i can just iterate through my list so i can write here for i in range range 0 to n so the moment i enter the loop i am supposed to print the value of this number right this corresponding number lt of i so here i'll be writing print lt so here in this case it is t of i t of i and along with that tab character slash t here fine now what i can do is for j j will uh, j will have the range of that is 1 to lt that is your list of i plus 1 list of i plus 1 because i am starting from 1 so that's why i have to give plus 1 here because this is your excluded right the second argument here in this if you observe right so that's why plus 1 and then colon come within this j loop print star 
in which fashion in horizontal manner that's why comma so comma end empty string once coming once you come out of this j loop you're supposed to print the new line so that's why print as it is now print the new line i'll just run this right this line number 8 will print the new line now here enter the value of n so i want to enter five elements and what are they three five zero nine two just to check that whatever we are talking about it is getting printed in that way or not okay so hit enter so it didn't print anything it is, which is quite obvious because i did not call the function so i need to call the function defining is not enough so the name of the function is pr so pr and then let me pass this list lt so i can run it again so a small error was there i didn't call the function anyways enter 5 and the elements that is 3 5 0 9 and then 2 so let me hit enter so you can see 3 is printed 3 tab and then 3 stars so this 3 is printed due to this t of i because t of i is initially 0 t of 0 is 3 then tab character and this g this j loop is responsible for printing 3 stars in the same way for 5 0 9 2 it prints the stars horizontally okay so i hope this piece of code is clear okay so this is your code here okay fine